Before we get to your scheduled video, please remember that likes and comments tell YouTube to promote our work to other people, and subscribing to the channel tells you when something new drops. You can also head to the link tree in the description to peruse my books, join us on Discord, or support us on Patreon. You can get episodes of Journey of Wrestling and Violent Profiles early, as well as a load of other treats. Even just a dollar a month earns you a name drop for being cool. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the show. Wrestling! Hey, it's wrestling time! Uh, you know who's cool? Mm, Passion Killer 7-Eleven. Mm-hmm. Rob. Yes. And a guy from Ohio. All three correct. Uh, you know who else is cool is everybody watching. Um, and the cats that are exploding in the next room. It's explosion time, everyone. Oh, but seriously, though, we are one of the two biggest, like, continued Journey of Wrestling YouTubers. And that's, that's not a very large group, you know? Uh, we certainly don't get hits that, like, uh people who are more famous and do this only once get but uh we appreciate you guys for keeping us up there yeah and uh being interested in our content as so. i have stated many times it is always baffling to me that anyone ever gives a shit about anything i say so thanks uh but that being said let's get into this we are heading to war of the worlds um we've got a couple of requests one from samoa joe to feud with cm punk we're going to get that in under the wire. But Jack Evans putting over Chad Collier. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and do that now? Okay. All right. To the book. To a singles match. To Jack Evans versus Chad Collier. Now, I believe uh, Jack is still in a tag team feud. Um, I say we just have his tag team partner do something this week with a member of the other tag Oh, no, I think we ended it. Oh, oh, no, nice. Yeah, because we blew off a bunch of feuds at the pay-per-view. I, I thought we only ended uh, uh, Rebecca Knox versus Jay Lethal. Mm, go check Not the feuds. Monster. Yeah, feuds. Um, Is he just listed as part of Los Temerarios, maybe? I guess. It might have not shown up because I put him in a match. Maybe, maybe. Let's let's check the segments here. Um, fighting the deck. Okay, there it is. So, uh, in that sense, um, let's do that and a solo feud promo. Smart. I like it. Okie doke. Um, so, we need to do that Samoa Joe promo. Where he's like, no, no, you will not, you will not get away with any excuses. I, I demand satisfaction. Let's make that a promo battle. Uh, I'll arrange it later. Um, what else do we have on the books here? Uh, we have... Oh, Alex Shelley finishing out his feud with Jimmy as a tag feud. Yeah, and then we, we would get... Um, Alex Shelley into a tag team that, at the, at the very least, that one should be more permanent, and then uh, get uh, Jimmy either a permanent or temporary tag partner to hang out with him for this part of the feud. So, Alex Shelley is just good in matches, great in matches, he should be in matches. Oh, and we have this guy, whoever this guy is. Ah, yes, we do, we do. Weren't we intending to use him as like a feud for Brindle and Dindle for Brian Danielson after... His main event feud? Yes. So we need to build him up. Yep. Um, who could Alex Shelley work with? So there's two options there. Either pick someone who is also really good in matches and they are for matches, or pick someone who is good at charisma and they sort of offset each other. True. That guy's in special K. Um, he could maybe elevate Rebecca Knox some. Yeah, uh, he's better at matches. Uh, Marcos, I think, is with... No. He's bad also. Is he with Don anybody? Juan is bad. Uh, Marcos is a two. I mean, there's no worse than Rebecca Knox. No, uh, Don Juan. Don Juan is not great. No, I don't know why we a, still have him. Somebody's got to lose matches. Uh, Fast Eddie's decent. That's why. Slick Wagner Brown is an entertainer. Uh, and then there's the ring crew. Uh Special K. Yeah. Um, alright, so is he a face or a heel, currently? Alex? Yeah. He's a face. So, 
So I'm so we don't have to turn anybody. Have him team up with some face who's a fun face who either is good in matches or has good charisma. But it's we honestly don't have that big of a roster, so it's kind of hard to find loose people. I mean, we've got people up here, but like. Most of the faces, I guess, just incredible. Just incredible's not fucking doing anything. He's also terrible. Yeah. Like, so the thought is, and I get where you're coming from, putting both of them in a segment would make one of them, or, or both of them in a team, would make one of them pull up their segments and the other one pull up their matches. Yeah. But it also is going to make their segments worse and their matches worse. Right. So I guess the question is, what do we want to do between Just Incredible and either Rebecca Knox or... I've already forgotten who I was suggesting. Uh, Slick Wagner Brown. Um, so if we're comfortable just focusing on having them do matches and succeed at that, one of the second two options. The other option is a better long-term investment because... They'll pull each other up, but it will be worse in the short term because they're going to suck each other down also. Um, yeah, but they're they're going to be better in... Uh, like, Rebecca's going to be better in matches. Uh, same thing with Wagner Brown. Right. So their actual matches they're putting on are going to be good compared to Just Incredible, not so much. Right. Uh, and the second idea is is basically just committing to have them be match focused. Right. Well, and in right now as well, uh, in a few with Jimmy Jacobs, who's better at charisma. Um, he can be the one bringing up the segments. True. Um, and it's not like he's a bad wrestler. Geez, he was nineteen then. Wow. Time. I would say let's go with option two. That's clearly where your brain seems to be leading you. Well, I'm also looking at who can tag with uh, Jimmy here. We could <laughs> we could do the funniest version of this and uh, have um, Alex team up with Rebecca Knox and then Jimmy team up with Jay Lethal. <laughs> no, that's a terrible idea because the fans don't want to see it because they just finished a feud. Yeah. Um... Plus, Jay Lethal just got out of a tag team. I don't, I don't think that's necessary. Okay. Um, I'd say Slick Wagner Brown. We have less plans for him. Okay. Good we have call. No yeah. plans we'll, for him. We we'll can push get Rebecca more Knox of, on our own. Yeah, we can get more out of him. Like, we can get more. That's more people we have. Creative has stuff for. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to risk a shitty segment. I say let's just spend the money to make him a tag team backstage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, teams. Add. Alex Shelley. Slick Wagner Brown. I have no ideas. <laughs> uh, what is this? This is 2004, right? What was going on in 2004? It's the year after I graduated, I think. I don't remember, man. Pro wrestling cares about when I graduated, right? <laughs> uh, I, I don't remember anything about pop culture from 2004 at all. Um, You know what? I'll give it a Google. All right. Um, While you're doing that, I will... Vamp? Vamp a little, yeah. Uh, so, trying to figure out what would be a good thing for these guys to do. What's a good tag team niche for them? What, what do you mean? Uh, so, like, the Briscoe Brothers have a very defined style. They, they are they have, like, a roughneck style. They've got a very established gimmick. Although, probably not in 2004. It's probably very new. But, I mean, we can see the future. Uh, <laughs> the Ring Crew Express has their jobbers, but they have a very established gimmick. Los Temerarios. They're, you know, the Team Extreme. They're, they're Daredevils. I'm Every trying... time you say that, my brain imagines them in red tights with little horns. Like Daredevil, like the superhero. Like, it's <laughs> never like Evil Knievel or 
I don't know anybody else who puts their body on the line for a stunt. Like, Marvel has ruined me on specifically the term Daredevil. They're Daredevils. Ah, there they are in their red tights with little horns. <laughs> uh, your usage of the term is absolutely correct. Uh, but you, you it's ruined for you now. I yeah, mean. yeah. It's weird. Of the two of us, you're the one who has that problem. Yes, it is. And that is also why I brought it up, because it's very, very unique and strange. Uh, 2004 was not a good year for drawing from pop culture for wrestling tag team name. Um... Yeah, I got nothing, man. Uh, I wish they had, like, a random button for, for tag team names. You know what? The internet does. I'm sure the internet does, yeah. Like, I'm not naming a team after Shrek 2, so... <laughs> Come on, guy. Uh, no, not ones that are real. We're Googling stuff with the two nerds. I know this is gripping fucking content. I, and uh, sadly, there's not really anything that we can, that I can talk about, because I, I barely know either of these fucking people. So it's not like I have an established sort of mental image of either of them. I, I mean, I feel like their little pixel guys are just perfect. Well, yeah, but like, those are little pixel guys. I, I, I don't have as much established in-brain lore about what's, like... Slick Wagner Brown. That name implies someone who is, I mean, at the most blunt, very smooth, very controlled. Sure. Uh, Alex Shelley, I don't, my brain thinks I know him, but I don't know from where. So I have no in, in internal uh, structure for who he might be. They're both faces. Yes. Uh, we could just fall back on the old tropes and, and have them be variants on a blue chipper. I figured it out. You know what else came out in 2004? Anchorman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I feel like that's just fine. I feel like that's a fine tag team name. Uh, so we'll continue this feud. Do you think with a fight? Or should there be a tag match and Jimmy Jacobs interferes? Or what should we do with that? Uh, I feel like, you know, we pick someone who has a good... Like, just go ahead and go into a tag match with them? I feel like, yeah, okay. get Jimmy Jacobs a, a temporary partner, or maybe Jimmy Jacobs can run the gambit of a bunch of different partners. Okay. Because um, we committed to them being good at matches, so let's put them in a match. That's a great idea. Uh, Alex Shelley, Slick Wagner Brown, Jimmy Jacobs. And then a heel who's not shitty in the ring. A not shitty heel. Done. Um, sure. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, there was somebody... Not him. He's too good. Got Dan Math. We got Doug Williams. You know, let's go with Doug Williams. Okay. Dougie Fresh. Him. He's he's pretty cool. There you go. There we go. Okay. Um, and then we have three segments left and some other feuds to book. Okay, the deal with uh, Los Temerarios is they want a regular match at the next pay per view. Right. We've got um, that. We got that uh, on the card right now, so we're good. Okay, so we need to push two people: uh, Nigel McGuinness and um, Kevin, Kevin Steen. Steen. Yeah. Uh, Uh, Homicide could probably lose a match, too. I know that puts both of our guys, both of our tag team challengers in a losing effort, but... That's okay. That, yeah, that's okay. Could be a rough week for them. That... Oh. That's a tag match. Oh. I got very scared. Sometimes when we record on Saturdays, they do updates. Uh, 
That's actually a great uh, thing because uh, if you put the Briscoes promo after that, yeah, they can talk about how like why you, you you we hear you we hear you know we heard you you're making noises about how you want another match. Y'all can't even win your matches. Why do you think you can fight us? All right, and uh, Bitey's a face. Bitey is a face. You know what Bitey can do? Lose, Lose a match. Lose a match to Kevin Steen. Okay, uh, we've got one segment left. Uh, we have. Is there any feud we don't have on the card at all? Uh, Matt Stryker versus Xavier. <coughs> Excuse me. I think well, it's the only then one. Then I feel like we can do something there. Um, probably a promo, honestly. Yeah. Uh. Let's make it a fight and add producer focus. Yeah. Having having had two back-to-back losses for the title, Xavier is now just fucking pissed. Uh, okay, that's our show. There you go. Let's... Book it. Make it sure we don't need to add a feud anywhere. No, we're good. All right. Book it and hook it and let's go. All right. Kevin Steen shows up and eats a steal in a nearly four-star match. Yeah. Thanks, Kev. Mm-hmm. Wow, thanks, Producer Focus. Yeah. Hey, Paul Carr went up to level two. That's oh, going to help. Yeah, that's gonna that that's what it's for. Yeah. Nice. Um, all right, Chad Collier's supposed to go over Jack Evans as per his request. Hey, it was a decent match. Uh, Nigel McGuinness is being booked to Moon. The Briscoes talk some shit. But okay. It's all right. Um, the, so the Sex Panther, the Sex Panther should win here, right? Like, Jimmy should be on the back foot. Uh, who won at the pay-per-view? Jimmy. Then, yeah, Sex Panther should okay. win here. Alex Shelley has found his niche. Yeah. And maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe the entire time Jimmy is scrambling to find somebody who can keep pace with these guys. And there's their, and their, their inherent Sex Panther charisma and, and synergy is just too strong. Hey, good. Great job, Man, guys. Promo. Thanks. Really saved the show for yeah. us. Thanks for that $20 that I believe paid for the Sex Panthers. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, our overness uh, is... Wow. We are now stale. Wow. Even the cat said wow. <laughs> I hope the mic That was that a up. series of very bad segments. They're, that's, they're not even, though. They're fine. There were two. I feel like we put the kibosh on Fluke Victory. I mean, maybe we just have them wrestle more. Like, I know it's in our nature. You know what? Let's do the reverse of what we did last time. Let's book a show that's all wrestling. No promos. Okay. We're pure fed. Let's see how that works. Let's wow, see if we, we lost can... 6.4K fans. Oh, my God. That's so Power many. Slam immediately crushed us. I mean, they also lost 3.1k fans but, but they started out at nearly a million all right so uh here's our message about doing a good job for the request paul car skill increase we've got packages we can do now okay and it, it's just it's matches all the way down so in a big tag team effort we have samoa joe let's keep this feud going for a second xavier brian danielson matt striker that's a fatal four-way match that's not what i wanted it's loading. Give it a second. I, I don't have time. There you go. Uh, Samoa Joe, Xavier, Brian Danielson, Matt Stryker. Um, I think here the faces win, making Joe angry. Yes. Oh, maybe it is update season. If I called my shot on that update, I'm going I am going to cry. I'm not. That's funny. Uh kind of want to check the Discord. <laughs> Which is a great time to mention not only does Journey of Wrestling have a Discord that you can join to talk about all the great stuff you could do in Journey of Wrestling, but so do we. Yeah. It's uh, in the description. You can join. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Just chat about wrestling or don't be a video dick. games or whatever. Yeah, don't be a dick. Never never be a dick. 
Uh, can just incredibly eat another loss? No. Uh, you he know shouldn't. what? You know what we can do? Let's 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 put our uh, bang where our buck is. Nigel McGuinness and Kevin Steen. Okay. Uh, both uh, they're I believe a face and a heel probably. No, they're both heels. Oh, great. Then yeah, they just they tag and beat a uh, beat some faces. Okay, what faces? Uh, let's find some two faces who don't have terrible losing streaks. Uh, you know what? Um. CM Punk isn't busy. No. He has a terrible losing streak, though. No. He has a 0-2 losing streak. That's not terrible. <laughs> Tell that to uh, Extreme Emotion CM Punk. Extreme Emotion CM Punk, whose morale is 100? It's not that bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'd say CM Punk and... Mm. Colt, then. Yeah, and Colt. Why not? And then we'll just, we'll get them, we'll get them both a win next week. Hey, everything's loading now. Okay. There we go. That's fine. Um, let's do the other tag match. It's a tag match kind of night. Yeah, you know what? That's a good theme night. Tag matches. Uh, Jimmy Jacobs this time... Who was he with before? Not Dan. He was Doug Williams. So let's do Dan Maff against Alex Shelley. Slick, Slick Wagner, Wagner Brown. Brown. Uh, okay. Um, and then, in a reverse, since it's tag theme night, we got uh, a couple matches left. Let's have, since they just lost single matches last week and the Briscoes were talking shit, each of our challengers fights one of the Briscoes and wins. Okay, okay, I like that. I like that. Um, so that is Jack Evans uh, versus Jay, book it, and Homicide versus Mark, book it. Okay. Um, and then we got. I, I believe that's all of our feuds. Yeah, they're they're gone. So and we're doing we're doing an experiment. We're not doing any event. We're not doing any. We're doing a full wrestling card. Yes. Uh, let's get Rebecca Knox in there uh, against Doug Williams. She's on a pretty decent winning streak. Okay. Um. There we go. Because we're trying to build her up, and then since it's the night of tag matches, let's get some of our lower card tag guys on there. Shit up the show. Uh, Ring Crew Express versus Special, Special K? K, probably. Special yeah, everybody K. else's faces. I don't really cool. care which members are special credit. I'm not really committed to it either. So there we go. Run it. Let's go. Um, it really doesn't need any... So long as Samoa and Brian Danielson are at the top of the card and the Briscoe matches are separated or right next to each other, I think either they just tell different stories depending. Um, actually, this is a little bit better if that happens there and this happens earlier in the show. Because, okay... Homicide beating Mark Briscoe, that's expected. But you get excited for the sweep when Jack beats Jay. Yeah, okay. And, and that's what secures them the, their their desired tag match. Yeah. Uh, are you sure you want to play the event? That's the plan. Let's see if this works. Okay, Ring Crew Express, Special K. You know, Special K could use a win. Then they get one. Their morale's kind of mediocre. And it wasn't a good... Just like the match. Uh, and then Homicide beats Mark Briscoe. It was also not great. Uh, Rebecca Knox putting her over. Hey, there we go. Worked to her strengths. That's good. Cool. Um, Jack Evans, big surprise win. That it did exactly the same thing as the other one. Okay. Slightly better match. Uh, sex, pan sex Panthers go over again. Um, Jimmy Jacobs is uh, is only content now. He's yeah. getting frustrated with all these losses. Uh, Nigel McGuinness and Kevin Steen look good over an established tag team because they're that fucking good. Also, these guys have been on kind of losing streaks, so whatever. Um, and then the faces win here. Okay, that was... Oh, the Greatest Wrestler feud became hot. That's good. That worked at least. That's helpful. 
So, for Just, the most part, that did not have much of an effect on our show. No. That's not surprising. <laughs> no. We get a three and some change star show. Twenty five bucks. <sighs> and we lost a thousand fans. Now this time Power Slam Wrestling absolutely destroyed us. They destroyed us before. It's just they also went up this time. Yes. Woofage. And our rep went down again somehow. Oh, oh good. I was, I was gonna have you check how, why. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I, I don't. Can you now? I, I suppose not. I I didn't know. Oh well. Uh, all right. Uh, we out that one. Right, idea. probably because we put on a shit show. Yeah, we put on a mediocre show. Um. I mean, this is the challenge of starting with a smaller brand. Yeah, you know? it is. Um, uh, we could try to squeeze in a little more time, but um, I, I don't think it's worth it. Let's regroup. Let's come back refreshed and with the heater not running. Okay. 